What's up everybody, Trinity here and welcome back to the Second Street Marvel. In today's comic book review, today I am once again bringing you guys a triple feature and that's partially because I forgot to uh, review, read and review one of these just the other week. So today I'm going to be talking about a few, a few of the titles that are tying into the 2099 event, an, an event that kind of started off in the Amazing Spider-Man and is now being done in these one-shot issues that are all tying into the larger story here. Um, so today I am going to be talking about Fantastic Four 2099. This is the one I forgot to uh, pick up and read and review just a few weeks ago. And then next I will talk about Ghost Rider 2099. This one just came out this last week. And then last I will talk about Venom 2099. Alright guys, now in case you didn't already watch my review on some of the other books that I have done here on the channel, you should go watch those. There will probably be like a playlist or a card to come up right up here uh, where you can go check those out. Uh, I know I have definitely reviewed like The Amazing Spider-Man 34, 35 and then um, Spider uh, the 2099 event alpha that came out as well as even the Punisher uh, 2099 book that came out. Now all these books are, are just all these uh, tie-in books aside from the Spider-Man 20 uh, the spider amazing Spider-Man, these are all just one shot books. And really, like the out the Alpha book, the 2099 Alpha that came out first, uh, that was it was also written written by Nick Spencer. Like I said, did a review. Um, it was just kind of introducing all of the characters that we're going to be getting here into uh, the 2099 series. That's really all that the Alpha covered was basically introducing us to all of these uh, one-shot titles that are coming out. Now, like I said, the first one here I'm going to talk about in today's video is Fantastic for 2099. This book is being written by Carla Pacheco. The artist is Stephen Cummings. Chris Sotomayor is on colors, and VCs Travis Lanham is the letterer, and Tony Infante is the is the cover artist. And I'll go ahead and show you those names right there, just in case I butchered any of those. You know, hey, I'm not perfect. I've been known to do that. And I'll go ahead and show you that cover once again. Okay, now, uh, like I said, guys, these books are all telling just uh, these one-shot stories of exactly these books. Now. Could you go and read just one of these one shots and not have to read the whole event? Sure, if you don't, if you're not into Fantastic Four, if you're not into Venom, you're not into any of these individual characters. I'm sure you could, um, and I'll get a little bit more into that um, here with each one of these. Now, uh, this Fantastic Four, uh, like I said, basically what we're uh, learning here is uh, what we see is there's a family that's been broken apart, and uh, what we see, what we what we find is that Herbie, um, who we did get introduced to. Um, in the uh, 2099 Alpha e event, uh, Herbie here has basically been looking for his family, you know, and he, that's, that's where he comes across this, uh, I, I honestly, I can't remember who, who this, this, this character is here, um, who's kind of like this Old West kind of outlaw, if you will, uh, and this gets found by her and is going to, you know, telling her like, hey, I need to, I need to find my family, I need to find them, they're, they're around here somewhere. Um, my mother basically like what would you say like um, basically saying that he was sent there um, his, yeah friends friends of his mother's you know of, her, of Herbie's mother and in case you don't know I believe if I'm not mistaken his mother is uh, would you know he thinks his mother is like Sue Storm but basically that's that's where um, this story takes place at is in 2099 um, after the world has already basically been under you know just just at, at, at a, in a constant war I guess you could say after the uh, the attempted the attempted assassination of Doctor Doom he kind of went through and that's kind of where all this has come come out Alchemax has been out there doing their thing so basically what we see here is they're is they're going out um, into the city they're going into different parts of the city to seek out these different people and they end up here and God what is this they call the uh, Traverse I want to say um, is 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 what it's called is a city where like no matter like everything's legal there like nobody cares as long as you never stop moving um yeah transverse transverse city it says right there i knew it was on that page yeah transverse city so basically like as long as you're on these roads and you never stop nobody's ever going to mess with you but you stop you know people are going to be on you and that's what we find here is where they're, we're slowly um getting introduced to these characters um just by 
you know, j just by them just seeking out the, these leads and everything. But what we find is um, there's basically like this family that has been split apart. We do basically see like these 2099 versions of the Invisible Woman, who is one of the people they're kind of trying to help bring these people together. Um, we basically do see, uh, I guess you would say, the um, <laughs> flame, flame On and... <laughs> And uh, even um, Ben Grimm in here. I mean, they're just, uh, but they're all just, they're all different versions of themselves because it's 2099. Uh, most of the the Fantastic Four here are uh, females. Actually, they're they're all females except for the exception of Herbie here. But hey, I'm not gonna make any assumptions here. Uh, all together, we can see, you know, they 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 all they all eventually come together. For what reason, we don't really know. There's not really a whole lot that we learn out of this book other than the fact that this family has been somewhat torn apart and then um, are they are being uh, brought back together. And then um, Herbie here uh, just like ends up actually attacking the family uh, for here for what was uh, for some of the things that were transpiring in this book. Um, altogether, I didn't really like this book. I don't know. It seemed uh, most of the story. I mean, the story, like um, for the most part, seemed okay. Just I don't know. It just doesn't really make sense to me. And again, I'm not really. I've never really read a whole lot of the 2099 books before or anything, so I don't really know a whole lot about it about these characters. So maybe that's some of it too. But altogether, um, this story seemed. I don't know. It just it just didn't really seem. Um, to get to give me much other than the fact that there was a family here, you know, somewhat like uh, the Fantastic Four, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, I don't know. I it just wasn't just wasn't that that great of a book. Um, and then uh, so I don't know. Other than that, I mean, um, you like I said, I, I showed you showed you some of the art there. The the arts, it's not it's not bad. Um, the coloring is pretty good. But oh, overall, like I haven't felt that any of these one shots have really given me anything that. I feel like I need to read. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. They just don't seem to really, I don't know, push, build a bigger story. So next, I'm going to go ahead and talk about, uh, and if you've read Fantastic Four 2099 and you have any opinions, let me know what those are down in the comments below. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is Ghost Rider uh, 2099. This book is being written by Ed Brisson. Um, Damien Cruciero is the artist, and Dono Sanchez Almara is the colorist, and VCs Joe Caram. Caramagna is the letterer, and Valerio Gian, Gian Giordano and Frank Diarmata are on the cover. I'm going to go ahead and show you those names just in case I butchered any of those names as well. You never know. You never know. It happens. I'll go ahead and show you that cover once again. That, covers, that cover is pretty nice, man. That cover is pretty nice. Um, so basically what we're learning here is, uh, once again, we start in um, trans, uh, Transverse City, um, or tra tran yeah, trans Transverse City, um, we're, we're seeing these guys that are getting ready to go hijack, um, this, this shipment, this, this, this freighter, if you will, that's carrying, um, all of these, uh, just some different equipment. They were told that, you know, it's going to be something that they might want to do. And, uh, these people are basically outlaws. They have these social scores and everything that go up and down and these guys aren't doing too good. So they break into this place and they end up hacking into the system, um, to get, uh, some of the, some of the goods that they're looking for, probably like electronics and hardware and things like that. Well, what happens is, you know, they, they end up, uh, ooh, this is there. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, interesting, right? So they, they end up getting in, and uh, they, they get in through the security on here. They're hacking this thing, and they're, um, they're looking for all this different equipment on this, on this truck to take. And, well, the, the plot thickens a little bit in where we see uh, one of these doctors there at Alchemax um, while they're getting hijacked because they sent all this stuff on on basically this the semi truck that wouldn't get noticed by anybody like nobody would pay this truck any attention but but somebody here is like hey like you know like somebody's hijacking them and what they find out is it was this doctor um that that's been working there at alchemax that it's his son it's his son that's actually there um hijacking this thing so um they pretty much tell the father like okay well we've got you know we've we've got two things we're going to do right now either um basically you're gonna basically like we're gonna kill you or um we're gonna kill you we're gonna kill your son um is, is what it's coming down to and you know so the the guy naturally says oh well he wasn't my son the second he decided to steal from Malcolm X and he goes ahead and tells him uh, to go ahead and send the drones or whatnot to to kill him and so that's what happens well when when the truck gets blown up he ends up getting you know uh making a deal uh with um the, I guess you could say making a deal with the devil here, right? Um, with um, 
with Blaze Industries, is what they're calling it. Oh, Ghostworks. They're calling it Ghostworks. Ends up making a deal there. And, uh, you know, he basically becomes the 2099 Ghost Rider. Um, ends up becoming alive in, like, this robotic body. And goes out, uh, you know, goes out doing what Ghost Rider does, you know. Um, pr pretty crazy stuff that he, he, he makes his deal, you know. Because, you know, to do some hacking and just some other stuff out there. And while he's out there, um, he's out there, you know, obviously trying to right some wrongs in his own life as well. As well as get revenge on his father who, you know, basically threw him on under the bus to get killed. Um, altogether, this book was a little bit better than the Fantastic Four uh, 2099 book. Uh, decent story. The the art in here. Um, the art in here, it's, it's okay. I mean, you know, pretty, I mean... I don't know, I guess, I guess what you would expect out of, you know, like a Marvel book, you know. Uh, coloring's pretty good, lines are pretty good. I mean, I can't, no complaints about the art here. But once again, like I said, guys, it seems like a lot of these 2099 stories seem like they're not really telling, giving us much of a story that's going to be, that's supposed to be, that's really driving this 2099 story forward. I just don't really feel any of that. Which is going to bring me to my next book. And if you've read Ghost Rider 2099, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Now, the next one we're going to talk about is Venom 2099. Um, once again, this is another one-shot book. And this one is being written by Jody Hauser, Francesco Mobili, and... Geraldo Bor Borges are the artists, Rochelle Rosenberg is on colors, and VCs Clayton Cowles is the letterer, and Clayton Crane did the cover right there, and Clayton Crane does uh, pretty pretty amazing work on these covers, and I like this. I gotta tell you guys, I really do like this cover. This cover here is great. I like the cover. The story here, the, the, uh, and the art in this book, the art in this book, um, it's, it's, I don't know, it's pretty decent, you know, no, no real complaints here. Uh, you can, you can see, you know, some of it here. Uh, basically what we learn here is, uh, this, this young lady has, um, she's, she's got, she's got problems. Uh, she's got this problem with, uh, with her arm. I'm not exactly for sure, uh, what it is that she's, but, that she's got, but she's there at the doctor's trying to get this treatment. You can see her arm right there is all kind of jacked up. Um, to like kind of heal and regenerate her arm and she's going undergoing this uh, special treatment and her father is actually a doctor there as well he's one of the ones uh, here working at uh, Alchemax who is giving her this treatment and what it ends up being is um, is a symbiote is, is a symbiote so what they're doing is um, they, they, they got a bunch of these little symbiotes in these little vials here that uh, they're gonna put into people to help them uh, naturally heal themselves and uh, we see that she ends up getting this injection, and it ends up working. But while uh, when when she gets the injection, she gets she gets all these memories, right? Of all the, of 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 who else this this venom symbiote has touched, and that's kind of what we get here in this story. You know, she she becomes she gets she gets better. Her arm gets better. She's stronger. She's faster. She's got this monitor that she wears uh, for the scientists and everything to keep an eye on her, and she ends up getting in some trouble. The monitor gets broken, and the Venom symbiote kind of goes to work after that, and decides to um, like ask, tells the girl like basically you're gonna help me get revenge on the people who did this to me, and he's pretty pissed off that uh, Venom's pretty pissed off that they went and uh, basically cut him into um, hundreds and hundreds of pieces, and that's what they do is they head to Alchemax to uh, basically get all the Venom, uh, all all of the Venom symbiote all back together uh, once again. And uh, as well as you know, um, while they were at it, they did some some personal things that the that the girl that it, the Venom symbiote took over here uh, wanted done. Um, nothing too nothing too horrible, but uh, once again, guys, like um, ooh, and then yeah, we got we got some of the, some of this gray stuff here at the very end. Just gr good stuff. Now altogether, like this book doesn't really seem once again like it's really serving a whole lot of purpose in the larger scheme of the 2099 universe this one wasn't too bad of a book i like like i said i like the art in this book but this this book was kind of neat um i don't i didn't really mind this i mean probably the, of these three that i've read today probably the better of them i would say it probably went venom um then uh then ghost rider and then and then fantastic four but all together, guys, uh, let me know if you've read uh, Venom 2099 as well. And let's talk about it down in the comments below. But I've got to say that for me, out of all of these books, like none of these books have really been, I don't know, they're, they're not really all that great. I mean, they're not terrible. They're just not really good. It's, I mean, and I've talked about this before here on the channel. Sometimes I've, I've read a few books. It seems like they, they put a book out and it's like they, they wrote a book. They printed a book. 
and then they sold a book. And that's kind of what I feel is going on here with all these one shots that are tying in to this 2099 event. Um, if you ask me, I wouldn't say that you need to read any of these solo stories to keep up on the 2099 event. I think honestly, if you just read like even just like the alpha and just keep up with the amazing Spider-Man st uh, storyline that's going on over there. I think you're probably going, going to get more than enough. I haven't read the Conan 2099, which is another one I'll probably uh, check out to review here on the channel. But uh, also, I believe we've got um, we've got Doctor Doom, or I think it's just Doom 2099 coming out. And then uh, I think I think after that, with another Amazing Spider-Man tie-in, and then we've also got. Uh, yeah, Spider-Man 2099. And here, you know, in each one of these books, they got a list of the books that are coming out um, to, re to read in this series. Like I said, guys, I don't think, I, you know, I hope, seeing this is this this is a Spider-Man series and it was all playing on the character, <coughs> thank you, um, of Doctor Doom, um, I'm hoping that, that Doom 2099 and Spider-Man 2099 have... A lot more to do with the story here and kind of drive it forward because I really don't feel that these one these issues these one shots have really driven the story anywhere most of this more of the stories happened in the actual amazing spider-man book and I honestly don't expect the 2099 Omega to give us much neither it seems like all the Omegas uh, lately were really just telling us what's kind of happened after the event like kind of like the aftermath of everything that's happened that's really it and this event's going to be over altogether i mean unless thing, things change in like the next two issues and amazing spider-man and then even in that Con conan 2099 review that i'll probably end up doing here later i i, I gotta say that for me so far this little e event it's kind of i don't know i wouldn't say a failure but it's just not that great and i can't blame anybody if they're not reading and keeping up with this series because like I said these one shots just haven't done it for me none of them have really been great reads They're just like I said we wrote a book we printed a book we sold a book that's really all it is but I don't know let me know what you think about it down in the comments below if you've been keeping up with these and if you haven't why haven't you maybe it's for part of the, some of the reasons I'm telling you here but that's all I have for this video today, folks. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the Second Street Marvel. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, click the little bell, and all of that good stuff. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, feel free to give it a thumbs down. It's all good, but hey, man, we're just talking comic books here. But while you're at it, make sure that you share it with a friend and invite them to come hang out with us here on the Second Street Marvel. You all have a very good day. Have a great rest of your week. Happy reading, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.